What's up fam? We're the Four Ransmen back at you again with another video and today we're talking about Bar From Hope. With us today we got a special guest. Hey everyone. So spoiler warning, we're gonna get right to it. Far From Home, I loved it. What'd you guys think? My first thing that I did like about the movie is the way they introduced Mysterio. Like, it's a character that for like almost 20 years has been out of Marvel movies in general. The fact that they're finally bringing him in and they did it the right way. I love the way they use uh, holographic technology. I love that they didn't make his costume cheesy. It was consistent with it. I think for Spider-Man at this point, it was a good villain because if you haven't seen the movie, he looks up to Mysterio. He looks up to him like another father figure like Tony Stark was, but in the end, He's duped, he's deceived. And I think that was an episode in his life, a chapter where Spider-Man is, he's now becoming this man that we know him to be in his adult years. This is realizing that he has to take being Spider-Man serious. He can't be on the sidelines anymore. And I really like that maturation throughout the movie. Spoiler alert, but not so much a spoiler alert. Venom is not in the movie, but I'm still obviously have my hopes up that he'll be introduced eventually. Now to get to Far From Home, we were kind of sad that a lot of the early speculations that we had weren't included in the movie. I mean, the multiverse thing was just used as a cruel ploy by Serio. Now, does that mean it's off the table completely? I don't think so. It was just kind of sad that they didn't include it. Also, I kind of wanted to see a touch of like the Ironheart comics where Tony reappeared as an AI just to give her the final words of advice. I mean, in a way they did do that in the movie, which I appreciated when they included Edith, even dead, I'm the hero. That was kind of funny to me. I still think that this movie opens up a whole bunch of new speculations as to now that his identity is revealed, what's gonna happen now? Who's gonna come after him next? And is anybody gonna suffer as a result. I think to close out the trilogy to include death in the next trilogy would really usher him into adulthood and be a more responsible Spider-Man even more so than this movie did. But I don't know, so what you think? So I thought this movie was just simply amazing. The way they brought in Mysterio, as John said, as a father figure. What I'm really excited for is the future of where they're gonna take Spider-Man to the next level. Now that, um, another spoiler alert, he's being labeled as a bad guy, a villain from Mysterio. Now that, I don't know how they're gonna bring back Jonah J. Jameson from this, cause like, He's in one universe coming back to this universe, you know? So I'm really excited what they do forward. Maybe they could bring in somebody like uh, Scorpion, continue from Homecoming, continue that angle, try to get revenge on Spider-Man. To touch on yeah. that real quick, if you guys don't remember, Scorpion was hired in the cartoons by J. Jonah, J. Jonah Jameson exactly. to hunt down Spider-Man. So that could possibly lead into a storyline for the next movie, although it's already been revealed that they're looking to include Kraven the Hunter. I was just about to say that. I think Craven would be awesome. So like the whole Scorpion thing and Homecoming ended with Vulture keeping Spider-Man secret, right? But then in Far From Home, it's revealed who Spider-Man is. Now, even in the original comics and series, no one really knew who Spider-Man was. People were suspicious because of J. Jonah Jameson spreading rumors. I mean, Spider-Man could save like the entire city and he would still find a way to blame Spider-Man for why the event even occurred. Now that you have scrolls who are working as S.H.I.E.L.D. agents, I think in the next movie, S.H.I.E.L.D. is gonna come in, they're gonna like wipe the plate clean, the, 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 you know, and just like remove any kind of gossip about Spider-Man's identity to protect him. They're, they can't let that go. Uh, it's not in the comics. Ron, being a Spider-Man buff, how far away do you think they are from including the Sinister Six or possibly even the Thunderbolts? Very close, because the buildup is there. It could be all speculation, could be all a false buildup, but we, we don't know. When we're talking about uh, Venom or Morbius, Morbius is coming up. Taboo though, Morbius is slated to be played by Jared Leto, which is a not fun name to say in comics but I actually think he will fit this role a hundred times better than he did Joker. He's emo, he's creepy, oh, why, he's everything a vampire needs to be. Why you messing with my Joker? Listen, why you messing with my Joker? We don't have Joker. time for that video. Spider-Man is now maturing. If you've seen the movie, he made a mistake. He has to make up for it and now he has to grow up. He has to take being a hero serious. This is that kind of dilemma that they need, just like in the comic books. The classic, yeah, the classic the fighting. Like in, in Homecoming, he's like so hyped to be part of the Avengers. He's like, yo, can I get this call? Can I get this call? And then now he finally gets the call and he he ghosts him. He ghosts Nick. <laughs> yeah, just like you said, he ghosts him, Nick Fury. Yeah. You know, like said, he'll call him, right? Yeah. Far From Home did leave that very big Avengers question. Who is the leader of the Avengers now? Now, I'm still hyped to see who's going to take charge for the Avengers now. Obviously, Spider-Man isn't the one, although he was kind of left in charge to pick the new leader. 
I pulling mean, it right now, it has to be Doctor Strange. He, he's the only one officially equipped to be the, the leader right now. What? You sure? You Doctor sure? Strange? You sure, man? You who else? Sure? Who else could it be? Obviously, Doctor Strange helps out. He's not going to leave the planet undefended, but clearly they have their own bad guys to deal with. It's bigger and better. So I, I, I don't think he's going to leave his duty as Sorcerer Supreme to help out the Avengers in a sense where he's going to give up He's gonna leave the mansion and say, Wong, here are the keys, you're in charge now. I, I don't think it's gonna be that way. I think it's gonna be one of the I mean, remaining Avengers or someone new. Call me yeah, wrong, call me stupid. It could potentially be Hawkeye. You're stupid. Nah. No, in the comic books, Hawkeye was temporarily the leader of the Avengers until they found a new leader. Temporary. Yeah, yeah temporary. But I don't think they would include that in a feature length movie and then just be like, oh, you know what? Oh, uh, yeah, you, you did good. But, All right, uh, hang okay. me out to dry. It's fine. It's okay. It's Who else is equipped? Who else really could be equipped to do it? Spider-Man, he's not there yet. Granted, he could be there one day, but not right now. And maybe, you know, not in the near future. Two oh. characters that might reluctantly take the role. You have Bucky Barnes. Nope. He's not a leader. But hold up. He's Listen, a, he's I, a, I said two words. He's a, he, Let me get, hold he, up. He, he, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. He's a bipolar schizophrenic. You would put up. that guy, you would give him the hold key up. to your car. Relax. Relax. All I gotta Let do me is say Let me finish. Amtrak. Let me finish. He, 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 Let me finish. Hold on. Hold on. Let me finish. That's a guess word. What do you think? Hold up. I didn't finish. He hasn't finished his thought. It's not important. Look, I feel like he's building he's, up. He's building up to something. Say Amtrak and he's hypnotized again. Bucky Barnes and maybe <laughs> Sam Wilson. They're military trained. They're disciplined. They might be reluctant because they never had the kind of morality or conviction that, let's say, Iron Man or Captain America have. But they're the only people who have been literally in warfare, trained, fighting, strategy. Wheelbarrow. Who else? Chase <laughs> Coach. No. I mean, guys. Okay, did you not see Black Panther? They he, they cured him. Oh, no, they did it. Speaking yeah. of Black Panther, maybe Black Panther could be the leader. I mean, guys. He's the king guys, of Wakanda. Guys. All right, all right. He's right, the leader right, of right, the Guys, guys, guys. Right, right, guys right. I mean, the obvious leader will be Peter Quill, obviously, right, guys? You know? Uh, nah. I'd rather have Thor. <laughs> I have Thor as a leader. You're in charge. As Guardians of the Galaxy. You're in charge, bro. I mean, we all know who's in charge, right? Yeah. We all know who's in charge, yeah, you're right? In charge, yeah, Iron Man. Anyway. <laughs> what do you think, man? Uh, to take the mantle? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. It could be someone new. Fall apart. It really could. You, you might be right about that. They might introduce somebody brand new. Curveball. And... Like, Marvel's all about curveballs nowadays. We can all agree Far From Home was awesome. It was. Mysterio. I hate you and I love you at the same time. I was really hoping, like, in the, even because I don't watch trailers, but I saw like behind the scenes stuff and yeah. and Venice and Parker getting wet, yeah. like splashing, like uh, thrown against the wall. I really thought it was gonna be Aquaman, yeah. and and in the first scene I thought it was Sandman yeah. or something like that. I but we all thought it was Hydro Man. We all thought that. I don't know. Spider-Man: Far From Home was great. I mean, I really love the storyline to it. You don't want no part of this. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a good setup for what's coming next because now he has to deal with the fact that he has to grow up. So there was, you know, a maturity development there. Obviously, now people are going to hate him. There might be some fans like the comic books or Spider-Man was always... People were ambivalent about him. They liked him, they hated him because they didn't know if he was bad or good. But that's consistent with the story. So it's like they're, they're, they're developing his story into his adulthood and that's what I like. So the third one, I'm excited for. I mean, because regardless of the villain they pick, he's gonna be hunted down. That's yeah. gonna be the plot for the third movie. How is he, how's he gonna deal with being a hero, yet in the people's eyes, he's a villain at the same time? Which it digs so deep into Spider-Man comics and how he deals with that on a daily basis with his humor. I'm, I'm really happy he's finally in New York. Like yeah. him yeah, in back. the city, yeah. And like New York's gonna be a character yep. as part of the like the movies. So that's we'll, we'll see the mind. people how how they take. New York, how yeah. rough it is. I so. mean, even seeing him swing through the buildings, I got the Tobey Maguire feels mm -hmm. inside. I was like, oh, it hit <laughs> so me good. on the heart Oh yeah, he definitely did the miles like the thum, 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 on yeah. the windows. I was like, oh man, that was such a miles move. I was like. Yes. Maybe that's what they were going for. Yeah. Maybe the whole point is that New York City was a character in the Spider-Man 
you know, the cartoons, comics, maybe they didn't want to start out with New York. They wanted him to develop his... Like he's ready for New he's York. He's ready for New yeah. York. And New York is the final setting of him becoming an adult as a person, but also maturing as a superhero. And that could be a, an angle that they had. And if it's so, I think it was smart. I think New York City is established that this is his home. This is where he's going to be officially determined to be a hero. Now he has to deal with a lot of the social problems uh, as Peter Parker, plus managing that as a superhero. All these speculations came from this one movie. Where do we go from here? I mean, one out of 10, far from home. Anyone, give me a rating. I give it a, at least a 9.5. I'll give it like an 8.5. I'll, I'll try to be mine. I'll give it a nine. I'll give it a nine. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Closing, Far From Home was amazing. It was awesome. If you haven't seen it, I recommend it. If you're watching this video, please like and subscribe. Ron, it's a pleasure having you, my Thank man. You. you know Thank your stuff. You. Thank you. Thank you. Know your stuff. Thank, Thank you. you. I try, I try. <laughs> Follow me on Instagram. <laughs> oh, man. Leave it. Oh, just at R O N G E J O N. If you like cosplay and comics, I'm your, I'm your guy. Just follow me. All right, guys, that's all we got for today. Hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, and as always, rant, rant on. on.